Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here and I'm really excited because today I get to show you the C47 DP kit. This is it, the whole thing. Eight 22 inch tubes, four straight connectors, four corners and all of the fabrics and they fit inside of a suitcase or you can sling it over your shoulder. What I want to do in this video is show you how I like to use the DP kit in production, so let's go. So we're at the Black Cloister Brewing Company in downtown Toledo. I have Lauren here with me and she's talent for this shoot. And what better place to be doing a shoot than a brewery. And what I want to do is show you one of my favorite ways to use the DP kit. And I actually have it here over my right shoulder. And it's built with the silver white. We're using it for bounce, I have a one by one bicolor flex light, which is great because it's very lightweight and it's actually in a scrim gym cine frame. And that's just coming off of a simple arm here and I'm bouncing the light off of there to get our Rembrandt lighting. And the other things that are going on in the frame here, we've got some practicals playing above the bar. We've unscrewed a couple that we don't want to see that one was actually hitting Lauren, so we already have that being done with our ice light too. That's our hair light, and that's gelled because we're using tungsten. And by the way, we have a, a very mixed color temperature here because the flex lights that are being used for me are daylight. I'm using tungsten to shoot this interview. And then the other things I have going on, there's a Skylux way back there that's putting a little bit of light on to a couple of blackboards and a couple of glasses and things like that. In the middle of this kind of setup, we have a tungsten one by one flex that's hidden underneath the bar. It's lighting up a little bit of that barrel and it's also giving a little bit of light to the taps couple of illuminator reflectors which we'll see one of doing a big job in a minute for Phil and the other one's just blocking some daylight that's coming into the space. So that's pretty much our setup. We've also got a floppy cutter in the background which is also helping uh, block some daylight that's coming in from the background and it just reads as black there. So let's, um, let's turn off the two flex daylight fixtures and now we can actually roll camera here and what I want you to do is just take a look at Lauren's left eye and just below that and you'll see that triangle and that's really our Rembrandt lighting and we don't have any fill right now so it looks very dramatic and you can definitely go with this look but what I want to do is take the illuminator reflector and right now I'm just using a silver gold and I can just walk in this fill as much or as little as I want so you can see there's quite a bit of fill there's just a little bit I might split the difference for this one here so again for me one of my favorite ways to use this kit I guess we'll bring the lights back up um, again really simple because it's got a small footprint single light stand here so that's great when you're going into small spaces and it's really that plus this reflector and the ice light too that's doing most of the work in this space and then because it's a big space we're just doing a few other things okay so here's another setup for the dp kit one of my favorites we've got the four x four frame built i've got the one stop diffusion on there behind it very similar to the setup we had with the rembrandt lighting I have the one by one bicolor flex, but this time we're pushing the light through the frame. This is gonna be a little more narrative, a little moodier. We've got some really nice daylight coming in, so I'll probably wind up using this as daylight balanced. And we're just gonna have, in a second, Lauren's gonna walk into the frame, sit down here, and then I'll go over to the hero camera and kind of talk you through um, sort of what the frame is a little bit. But let's go ahead, uh, Joe, let's kill my lights. I'm gonna walk over here and turn on the flex. And you can see from the hero camera, we have some nice ambient light coming in. And just turn this on. And we're gonna bring this up to about 40% right now. And I'm gonna change the color temperature, bring it up to 5600 Kelvin. So we've got daylight on there. And I'm gonna have Ashley come in and turn on the ice light too. 
and we can use that just for a little bit more of that kicker and then I'm going to walk over to the hero camera and have Lauren walk in for this faux scene so let me go ahead and do that and that's it we're really just using two lights in this and okay Lauren's coming in early in the morning she's got to set up for the brewery she's not going to drink beer she's going to drink coffee and you can sort of see the frame and again we're, we're shooting into the fill side we've got that nice little light coming through the frame we do in fact get a little Rembrandt lighting there when she is looking towards the key and you can see we've got that now the other thing is in the distance over here I actually have a 4x6 frame from the book light kit so I'm combining the two and we're using them together but you can see just what we're getting from that Ashley can you go ahead and turn off the ice light too great and I mean I actually really like that as well I might actually leave that but you know if you scout your locations then you can allow natural light to work within the scene as well you just have to be there at the right time and then we can do a very simple setup like this I also love to do this outside of a window we can push a bigger light fixture through it or we can put the silver white and then bounce off of it and bring that light into the room so that's another setup for the DP kit. So this is one of my favorite uses for the DP kit. And in fact, it's one of the reasons that I designed it to begin with. We use floppy cutters all the time to create negative fill and to block light. And to have a portable 4x8 that you can just put in the suitcase, put over your shoulder, is huge. And that's what we're going to do right now because I'm inside of this space with Lauren at the brewing company. This is really the tasting room and we have this really nice natural light coming in but it's very even and quite honestly this is a beautiful frame and I'd be fine with that but I want to create a little bit more contrast because we've got such even light and this would apply also if you were outside on a cloudy day. So we're just going to look at our frame right here and you can see that and I'm just going to have Brandon walk in the 4x8. So it's up on the DP kit frame and we get there we go. Let's just bring that in a little bit more. A little more. There you go. It's starting to come in. And then just walk it in just a tiny bit for me. Let's just keep coming in a little bit more. And right about there. And you can see that on the right side of Lauren's face, we have a little bit of contrast there now. And it's just doing that. Now we have cars moving through the street and things like that. But this, for me, is just creating a little bit more in terms of the image. OK, great. So we've got a little bit more contrast there. And again, you could use this outside, inside. That floppy cutter has so many different uses, and that's another use for the DP kit. So another use with the floppy with the DP kit, we've got a lot of light coming into the space, and we're actually using it as our key. And over Lauren's left shoulder, we have a one-by-one one bicolor, which is just playing as maybe window light coming from behind. So that's all we've got. But there's a lot of light coming from a big window down here and it's hitting that brick that's over her right shoulder quite a bit so what I want to do is cut that so Ashley's going to pan the floppy and we're just gonna see what that does coming in let's bring it all the way in to see what it does there we go and then let's bring it out a little bit right there and then come back in just a little good so what I want to do is kinda of split the difference so we've got a little bit of light over her right shoulder just past the frame there on the brick but then when we go on to the wider it's not as bright and I actually like that quite a bit. So that's the way you use a floppy to cut light in spaces. It's actually really useful when you're using something like the book light and you want that nice soft wrap light but you're in a smaller space you can actually use that floppy to cut the spilled light, especially behind talent. So that's the DP kit. A 4x4 four four frame breaks down to 22 inches. You can throw it in your suitcase, throw it over your shoulder. And in fact, even though I've shown you some of my favorite ways to use it, this is in fact one other way. And you can see here that this configuration is great when you want to use it as a courtesy for camera operators who need it to flag light and block light from when they're working, especially outside. For talent, we can use it for a video village. 
and also it does two jobs in one this way. If I step under here, if I have light coming from above, it can block that light and I can also use this side as negative fill. So pretty awesome. Check it out. That's a DP kit.